Hi, this is Motion Design School, Sasha is on the mic, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a few ways to stylize your artworks in After Effects. Let's get started. So, I'll use two types of effects as a basis. This will be distortion and blow effects. The first way is the combination of scatter and bilateral blur. Find scatter in the effects panel, apply it, and set the parameters. As a result, the shape was covered with harsh noise around the edges, but it can be softened by applying bilateral blur. It can as well be found in the effects panel, apply it, place it above the cutter and set the appropriate parameters. Now the shape has softer but still texture edges and also a smooth gradient was formed inside the object. You can also add cross blur to this combination and blur the object along the x-axis. This will make the shape a little fluffy and it won't be so uniform on all sides. And here's the result. The second method is a bit similar to the previous one. Apply scatter and set the parameters. Now apply radial blur. Place a point in the middle of the object and increase the intensity of the blur. To make the edges not so blurry, simply apply the sharpen effect. As a result, the effect slightly simulate brush strokes. I also advise you to apply the to comp value expression to the radial blur point. To pair the point to the object so that the point follows it when the object moves. The third way is exactly the same, but instead of scatter, turbulent displays is used. Find it in the effects panel and apply it by setting the desired parameters. With turbulent displays, irregularities of the edges become more visible. And also it has more parameters, that will allow you to customize everything as you need. That's all! All the project files can be found at the link in the description under the video. Thank you for watching, like, share and comment on this video. Subscribe to Motion Design School and follow me on Instagram. Bye!